Hi, this is Mark. Recently, Sarah and I met up with some researchers at IBM in New York, and they gave us a kit called TJBot, which is a new research project they're working on. What it involves is it's a little cardboard robot, but inside of it is a Raspberry Pi with an operating system that talks directly to the IBM Watson AI server. So the cool thing about this is you can talk to the little robot and get answers or get information or whatever. So kind of a cool uh, idea. Um, the cardboard thing is kind of cool. It's a uh, laser cut character that reminds me of a South Park character. I'm going to open this box and we'll see what's in this kit and uh, how easy it is to get it running. All right, I got my box right here. Came like this mysterious box. It's actually been sitting around for a few days um, because I've been busy with other stuff. So let's find out what's in this box. Uh, so let's see what we got here. I got, um, I have a thumb drive. There's a static bag, there's more stuff in it. Uh, there's a cable, little jumper wires. And there is a mini USB microphone. So that's how we're getting audio into this thing. That's a pretty cool idea. Um, and then there's some LEDs and diodes in this little bag, and I'm sure they're used for something. Um, a Raspberry Pi 3. I got a power supply for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, the cool thing is the laser cut stuff. So let me carefully... Okay, it's all one piece. It's all one chunk folded into the box. So, um, so this is this laser cut uh, thing with all the parts. So it's like a model kit. Kind of cool. Um, so I'll look at the instructions and figure out how to properly put this together. Uh, and then a welcome letter or a thank you letter or something. Maybe there's a slipper somewhere and I need to put it on and my dreams will be answered. Hi, my name is TJ. Let's start a cognitive adventure together. Uh, I'm an open source project to access Watson services in a fun way. You can use one of my recipes to bring me to life. And it says, please visit ibmtjbot.github.io. So it's open source. You can get all the code and play with it. Um, if Even if you don't have the robot, if you have a Raspberry Pi 3, you probably could just play with it. Um, so I can't wait to see what we do together. Hashtag TJBot, your friend TJ IBM. So let's put this sucker together and see um, uh, what it does. All right, I'm over here next to the computer. I have uh, my TJ bot, which is a Raspberry Pi and this cardboard frame all set up. It's laying on its side because I have an HDMI monitor and a mouse and a keyboard plugged in. And uh, But once you're configured and you can log into it through, let's say, SSH over your laptop computer, you can get rid of all that stuff and then just log into your TJ bot and run software from there. And it'll look like a robot when you're done. Uh, the kit was fairly simple to put together. Cool concept. Uh, it makes your Raspberry Pi look like a little robot character. Um, but completely not necessary to do any of this TJ Bot stuff. So if you have a Raspberry Pi 3, get yourself a USB microphone widget. Probably only a couple of dollars. A uh, mouse and a keyboard and a display. And uh, just you basically put a standard Linux uh, distribution like noobs or something onto your Raspberry Pi. Follow the instructions at Instructables uh, for all the additional software you need. Set up your IBM Bluemix credentials, uh, which is a cert the service that you're sending your compute stuff to. Set all that up and run the demos and see what you can do with it. I just got the TJ bot configured and running, and uh, I'm going to show you how this thing works. Um, so in this example, what we're going to do is we're recording my voice off the microphone of the Raspberry Pi. We're going to send my speech up to the Watson server, 
it's going to analyze that, figure out what I just said, and send the text back to my Raspberry Pi. And then we're going to take that command and do something with it. And in this case, I'm telling it to turn a light on or off. Um, let's start the service up. I have a shell up here. Um, and so the command that they ask you to run is sudo node stt.js. And so that is the name of the demo software that they gave us. All right, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to run this. So it says, TJ is listening, you may speak now. So now I can talk to my Raspberry Pi and ask it to do something. So let's go over to that. Um, see, it's hearing me. Turn the light on. So you see that it actually heard me starting to turn the lights on. Um, but it did it. Um, it's hearing all the other noise that I'm saying in the room because I'm talking to the camera. So let's turn it off. Turn the light off. And it did it. Um, here, let me, I'm going to point the camera at the TJ bot. And you can see it do it again. Turn the light on. Turn the light off. This is a cool demo. It's all written in uh, Node.js, which is JavaScript. So it lets you dig in there and kind of like modify it to your art's content. Um, but overall, this demo is pretty cool. It just shows that IBM has this thing that you can send bigger compute jobs to, and then they'll do the work for you. So all you really need is something like a Raspberry Pi to send the stuff away and get it back and things will happen. So really cool idea. And that's my report.